Yeah. <laughs> I turned the, I turned the uh, sound off of the beeping to say battery life. Oh. You know, we just like don't know. <laughs> Alright. BMW things. I bought a short shifter. It was like $40, $45 on eBay. Um, looks like a pretty nice unit. We're going to go and throw it in because my shifter throw is like massive right now. We'll go and show you, show you that right now. So we'll just say like that's like third gear. It goes pretty far up there. We'll measure that, like. So there's third gear. Holy shit. And there's fourth gear. And that is a seven inch difference. Those are seven inches away from one another. Pretty lanky. It takes me a while to shift through there, you know? So the short shifter said online it'll take away somewhere between 30 and 60% of that shifter throw. So we're gonna go ahead and put her in today. So you really gotta yank on your shift knob to get it off. Yanking on the knob? Really yank the knob. Now we'll just go ahead and massage all of this foam out. So, because I have a middle diff, because this is the all-wheel drive model, we aren't able to access anything from below. So we had to do everything from the top. So we just had to make these clearance cuts. It's a race car. It doesn't fucking matter. Weight reduction, baby. Um, we got the C-clip off. I just got my finger in there and I pushed it. And then we went through this up here. That guy right there. Uh, let me get the flashlight on. We went through this spot right here. And we just undid that rod, which you might be able to see. Right it's there. right there in the middle of the screen. Yeah. So now we can go ahead and pull this guy out. So now that we have this guy out and this guy out, we can start fitting this guy up. It's gonna go in like this, I think. Get her all in there and we'll be good to go. Big happy. Dressing up the new shifter, we have these nice poly bushings. Just slide right in after a little bit of pressing. Probably. Probably. I'm gonna have to take these to the vice. Yeah, let's the vice these in. completely forgetting to film um, the bitch clip the thing that goes on like how you shift your transmission and then the actual shifter itself was terrible to get on we had to switch to a C clip and we just completely forgot to film um, yeah few inches later the BMW bitch clip badly so badly so badly we had to switch to a C clip it's in It's in. We just need to put the interior back together. We just got back from our test drive. Um, it feels good, but it just wants to pop out. I think that this, this blue piece down here wants to pop out. So maybe I'll have to weld it down or do something there just to make sure that it stays there and it doesn't want to pop out. Um, the shifter throw is way shorter, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, it just It's just a little weird still, you know? So maybe I'll make them out, but it works. And we made it work. It's just sketchy. 328 AM. So I'm awake thinking about what this could be. And I see these guys installing this on their e, uh, E30. I, I looked at it, didn't think anything of it, and didn't install it. And this piece is what's preventing me from being successful right now. One eternity later. So it's like a week later. Um. This, this ring that I really thought was gonna do it. This piece is what's preventing me from being successful right now. There's just no way of fucking getting it on. We tried a C-clip. There's just no getting it on. So, our other option would be one of these chassis mount shifters, right? But these are sketchy to say the least, right? These have like the largest throw imaginable. The welds on these are so sketchy and they're just massive. If you have something that's massive to shift, it's not gonna make you faster. It's gonna 
make you sloppy. It's just gonna, you know, something like this has potential of really hurting your transmission. And even if we got this clip in, it would be sketchy as hell. So, luckily, I live with a machinist. My dad is a machinist, and he made us this really cool mount. Okay. So, our issue is this can pop out when shifting, and now I no longer have the ability of going into gear. So, what this does, it's super finely machined, it goes down, and we can tighten all these little Allen bolts. If I just do one of them right now, just by hand, you'll see that it can't come out anymore. So, it's super well machined. My dad does really well machining. Um, we briefly talked about manufacturing these. If that's something that people would be interested in, you should definitely let us know. So I'll go ahead and get an Allen wrench and completely tighten these down now. We are a really, really small channel. At the time of recording this, we only have like 270 subscribers. So, you know, a subscription really goes a long way for us. I would really appreciate it if y'all would like subscribe to us. We're really small. You're like doing charity work at that point. You know, so... You may as well subscribe to us, please. <laughs> Is that it? Yep. So now that's all tightened up. Doesn't really move anymore. She is sturdy, dude. Super in there. Machine's super tight. I trust that so much more than anything else. That's exciting. Word. Please sub. <laughs> it again. All my gears, baby! Dudes, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Dude. Way faster. Fuck yeah. So, inevitably, I like how it feels. We had to do some modification to it, and that's okay. Um, honestly, if you don't have access to a machine shop, I don't know what would be safe. Because the chassis mount's sketchy. The clip that you're supposed to use at the bottom, I get that you can use it, but it's sketchy. And in the XI, you're going to have a really hard time getting it in there. We couldn't even get it in there. Other people will probably have some method, but I think that this is the best way of doing this. I ordered a billet shift knob, but that isn't here in time to make it into the video. This could be something that ends up being manufactured. I don't know, but overall, I'm really happy with it. The car's a lot faster. I only started getting into my power band there, and it's already doing really nice. I really like how it feels. Hopefully they're not so close together that I money shift.